get the question all the time. When you add a turbo or supercharger to your vehicle, do you need to change your fuel? On this Andy's Auto Sport Frequently Asked Questions, we're going to fuel your knowledge about octane. Now, we've just boosted our Project 4Runner with a supercharger kit from TRD, and it recommends 91 octane or higher only now that we've supercharged. Now, the reason it recommends a higher octane is octane is basically the resistance to spark knock or pre-detonation, or basically the fuel flashing and burning on its own. When you add a supercharger or turbocharger, you're going to be increasing the cylinder temperature and the cylinder pressure, which is also going to increase the ability for that engine to create spark knock. So anytime you put a supercharger on, you're going to need to either increase the octane of the fuel or decrease the timing. If you take timing away, that's going to take horsepower away as well and can cause other problems. So it's always best to increase the octane. That's why they recommend it. We hope you've learned something today, and we'll see you on another Andy's Auto Sport Frequently Asked Questions.